Another lawsuit coming from Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton, this time directed at the Biden administration. Good evening. I'm Natasha Paloma. Daniel has the night off. KTSM 9 News reporter Stephanie Shields is live near the U.S.-Mexico border with how local lawmakers are responding to the lawsuit. President Biden's executive order calling for the Department of Homeland Security to pause deportations of some undocumented immigrants for 100 days. That went into effect today, but Paxton is trying to put a stop to it. The Texas Attorney General warned last night he would file a lawsuit filing that complaint today in the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of Texas. The new rules are temporary for 100 days, focusing on deporting migrants who may be a threat to national security, those previously incarcerated, or those apprehended without proper documentation but local representatives and elected officials say it's the language Paxton is using within the complaint and on social media referring to immigrants as quote dangerous aliens who must be deported Words matter uh, rhetoric is dangerous um, you know especially attitudes toward immigrants uh, we've seen uh, the kind of uh, uh, hate that that brings to communities uh, such as the individual who drove out here to El Paso to commit mass murder at Walmart, uh, said similar things. In a press statement, Paxton said in part, quote, DHS itself has previously acknowledged that such a freeze on deportations will cause concrete injuries to Texas. I am confident that these unlawful and perilous actions cannot stand. But some of the local elected officials I spoke with say they feel this lawsuit won't go very far and are calling it a waste of Texas taxpayers' dollars. Live near the U.S.-Mexico border, Stephanie Shields, KTSM 9 News. All right, Stephanie, thank you. An